time for our next community spotlight and as FFA week continues now I'm joined by Lucy and Jonica. You guys are from Oakland. Yes. So your FFA chapter is planning a petting zoo of sorts. Tell me about that. Yes. Uh, so we will be in our, F our agriculture shop and we're going to have all kinds of animals. We have some cows. Um, we just bought chickens the other day, <laughs> so they're babies, and we're really hoping that the kids come out and enjoy them. Yeah. Yeah. What's been how like the process to put it all together? Uh, we have one student in charge, Keegan, and he's been absolutely great. He's a sophomore, so it's really good seeing how he's like taking control. Um, it was pretty hard at first trying to find all those animals and like figuring out the itinerary and everything we needed to do, but. I think he's figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to ask, where are you guys? Obviously, we're in central Illinois. We're yes. surrounded by farmland. Where are these animals coming from? They're coming from other students and their families or people that they know. So it's a community project for sure. So we're really thankful that the community has come out and supported us through our idea. Yeah. What are you looking forward to the most as you're seeing this evolve and come to life? I'm really excited that we get to actually um, invite the community members out this year. We haven't been able to do that in the past, but we're really looking forward to that and kind of saying thank you to our community for supporting us through all these years. Why do you think it's important to get the community involved in something like this and really introduce people of all ages to agriculture, it seems like? I think it's really important because it influences the younger generation to get involved in agriculture and showing that we needed all the support and just being able to help everyone learn around us who don't know already. Yeah, and it sounds like donations from the event will go yes. right back into your program, right? Exactly. We will have a free will donation set up at a table, and there's no charge to get in, but we greatly appreciate um, the donation as to that will go right back into our chapter. What will that allow you guys to do? It will help us pay for kids who can't afford jackets or to go to national convention and it will just help us do more events like this year we had a Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and also it'll help fund all those fun events that we do outside of school. Okay, so for people who want to stop by, when is it happening, where is it happening, what do people need to know? Okay, it is in our ag shop at Oakland High School. Um, community members can come in four time slots, the first one being 10.05 to 10.25, the second one is at 11.15, the third one is at 12.35 to 12.50, and then the other one is at 1.30 to 1.50. All right, all good to know, and of course we'll have these details posted on WCIA.com as well.